So I'm excited to review my first three eyelet Oxford today. Uh, this is a very special pair of shoes. The shoemaker actually reached out to me and said that he had designed these shoes and he wanted me to give them a try. And uh, um, we had talked about it and then uh, he had some, uh, some, some challenges and, and we wound up putting it off for a little while. But uh, we found each other a few months later and uh, restarted the uh, project, which was great. Uh, this is um, Hephaestus uh, out of Vietnam, uh, just a really high quality shoemaker. And he does hand welted and Goodyear welted shoes. And this is a Goodyear welted variety and uh, just something that he, he does really well. Um, you know, the price point on these is, you know, 450 bucks or so. And uh, stitch density is right at three, which is normal. Um, and stitch density on the upper is really hard for me to see because there's hardly any stitching on the upper because this is a hole cut uh, with that reverse stitch, as I talked about. But it looks like about six, which is good. Um, and this is the part that he stitched from underneath to get the Adelaide U throat. And then the, uh, the cap here, only on the top, which is kind of cool and actually... 100% unique. I don't think I've seen this on another shoemaker. Um, so this is really just uh, just then um, out of a face desk. Now, he also did these cool soles, and he, this, he did the same sole um, for me um, on, on the hand welted and on the Goodyear welted. And it is, you can see that it's um, blind stitched. And then he has nails in here for the toe, um, for the waist. So they call that a pegged waist. And then um, he has them here. Uh, for some traction but this is a suicide sole so no rubber uh, but as you can see it wears fine and uh, no problem i've actually worn these a couple days the, the color actually uh, holds pretty well so um now on the hand welted shoe it has this part here with a suede on the inside but it, it does he kind of has the lining so that it's a little short so that it's still tighter right there and then with this really really um short um you throw it um, with only the three eyelets, um, it still tightens up really, really nice and um, provides a lot of support when it's on. So he also has the nail here, which is similar to what you get in some high-end brands. We'll actually put a stamp there. Um, so um, kind of a cool thing. The heels are pitched a little bit in, and you can see there is a, a heel stack here, um, but they are thicker. Uh, but they're still uh, very, very high quality. So um, just a, a great kind of uh, uh, contrast on the edge. You can see this is all hand sanded. Okay. For Goodyear welted shoe, he spent a lot of time making sure that he did all the details here that he would do on a hand welted shoe um, on this as well. Um, you know, and, and one of the things that I think is also important to note is, you know, these experienced shoemakers, they can put together shoes in this beautiful hatch grain texture um, and not overstretch the grain. It's stretched at the toe like you'd expect. And I, and there's wax up there, right? But um, the rest of the shoe, you can really see that beautiful pattern coming through. And that is just incredible craft and uh, something that I really appreciate. So, uh Hephaestus shoes out of Vietnam. It's uh, one to keep track of. Uh, a number of us in the shoe community have been following them now for a couple years, and I'm super excited to own these, and we'll definitely look to them again as uh, we go forward.